Uh, so as far as Julio, man, great player. Um, as you guys already know, you know, I learned so much from him. Um, you know, moving forward, um, we understand, you know, our role. We understand that it's a business, you know. Um, um, obviously, we, you know, you can't dwell on anything. So moving forward, we already know our game plan. We know, you know, Arthur does a great job of getting guys ready, getting guys ready to go. You know, we practice, you know, the installs, learning the plays. That's all going to take place regardless, with or without Julio. So um, that's understood. And moving forward, we, we know our roles. And uh, you you play slot, but he said you can go wherever now. Uh, how is the offense coming together and what excites you about the new offense and your role, potential roles? Yeah, um, uh, that's understood. You know, that, that's always with or without Julio. Again, you can play anywhere. You can end up anywhere. You can end up on the outside. You can end up on the inside. Um, guys can end up anywhere. And that's always, you know, we have several different weapons still where, you know, people can line up anywhere and be effective. And that's understood. So we know that moving forward. Um, again, I understand my role. I understand my role may have increased, but I'm ready for it. You know, we're going to we're gonna keep going, moving ball forward, moving forward. Sorry. Thank you, Russell. Mike? Hey, Russell, how are you? Uh, doing good. Kind of want to build on that a little bit. When you got more playing time last year when Julio was hurt, what were you able to take from that? that maybe you'll be able to translate now where theoretically, you know, you're kind of sliding into some sort of maybe more defined starting role? Um, well, first of all, I always say there's no better teacher than the game. So being out there and, you know, kind of taking those reps really helped, you know, me to settle in, settle in those spots, you know, that Z or that X position or whatever it, is, it may be. Um, you know, Julio did a great job of kind of teaching me, slowing things down for me, showing me what what to look for and in, in coverages, you know, coming from outside, inside um, or inside, outside. And so um, I t I'm going to take a lot of this stuff and, and carry it over to this year. You know, I'm excited moving forward. You know, we prepare. We, we do a lot of mental mental stuff of, of learning the game, seeing coverages, you know, what we look for. I'm doing, a, I think, a great job of seeing what. Arthur's looking for out of this offense and out of me. So, and I think that's the biggest thing, you know, once I understand what he wants and he has in store um, for me and what he wants to see out of me, then I'm going to play faster and be more effective. What you mentioned, you know, you learned a lot from Julio last year. What was maybe one thing that you look back on that you think you took the most from kind of your time looking, learning from Julio? Uh, run. <laughs> that was his biggest thing, you know, uh, speed, speed off the ball, running. Um, you know, a lot of guys get too caught up in thinking and thinking into their routes. Um, just understand, you know, I mean, even if you make a mistake, make it full speed, you know, um, you know, run. That's a, that's a receiver's biggest asset, you know, is his speed. So whatever it is, you need to display it. Thank you. Scott? I'm just curious, when you go back and look at last year's tape as a whole, in what areas do you see like I made really good strides there? This is this is showing signs of getting better. And then in what areas are you critical um, and you think that you need to make strides this year? Like where do you think that you got better and 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 in what areas do you feel like you still need to improve? Well, I think um, you know, and I'm kind of going to say sound like a recording, but I think understanding again what what, what Matt. And, and being on the same page as Matt and understanding what Arthur wants is, is big um, because those things come hand in hand when you get to plan faster. It's all because you're more comfortable and you know, OK, this is what they want on me. You know, this is what they want on me in this coverage. I know, I know here they want me to break out. I know here they want me to turn in. You know, those are all fields and those are things you can't really learn unless you're in the game. You know, so over time, as I'm in the game, I, I get to feel I understand what Matt feels. I understand what Matt wants. Um, it just helps me to play faster. And, it, and ultimately, it helps him to play faster. It builds trust, and, and we can, you know, be more effective on the field together. So those are things I'm kind of taking away and moving forward. I'm sure that this was no shock to you what 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 uh, Calvin was able to uh, do last year, and uh, I mean, just like what kind of a, a dynamic talent is he, and uh, being able to to kind of work off of each other, um, and you know, kind of split coverage. Are you uh, excited about that that future partnership uh, in the pattern? Uh, definitely, man. man. Calvin's a beast. Calvin is a beast, you know, and I, I'm sure I don't have to say it. You guys saw him work. You saw him play. Um, he's explosive. You know, um, you know, uh, there's 
single coverage is, is just you really can't do it. I mean, he's a beast. Um, and I'm excited. You know, I learned things from him as well. You know, he he's a definition of what I just described, which is playing fast, you know, being decisive. And, you know, I'm excited to play across from him, man. It's going to be it's going to be fun. Justin. Yeah, man, I'm excited moving forward. As I said before, we have so much talent. Um, you know, even with Julio gone, we have so much talent. You know, like you just said, Cal Pitts, you know, Hayden Hurst, Russ, me, <laughs> uh, Calvin, uh, Mike in the backfield. I mean, we, we, we have so much talent everywhere. Um, and, and I think moving forward, it's going to help, you know, all of us. You know, all of us are at some point are going to have our one-on-ones. You know, and I think in, in NFL, it comes down to the stuff like that. You know, who's who's going to win their one-on-ones, you know. So moving forward, I'm definitely excited about the type of coverages I, I may see. <laughs> no big story, man. Uh, you know, just kind of wanted something different, something fresh. Um, I actually tried to get 10, uh, but it's retired, which, you know, I understand. So <laughs> just wanted something new, something fresh, you know, and um, I'm excited moving forward. I hope you guys like it. <laughs> we got time for a few follow-ups. Dila, do you have anything? Uh, yeah, did you know that was Steve Barkowski's number? <laughs> <laughs> I did not. I did not know that. <laughs> Okay, and then, uh, but uh, uh, so so, just uh, just a change. Nothing. It was nothing. Little league number when you played another position, or just hey, let me go with this. No, nothing special. Just something different. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks. Mike. Yeah, I want to go back to what you're saying about you know Julio's advice to just run. Like, when do you feel like was the first time where you felt comfortable in the league? just running like you know just kind of taking that advice versus maybe being caught and more moving slower like you were talking about um as far as offense standpoint you know because i play special teams yeah. as far as offense goes um i would say two years ago right after the saints game you know um when i first started i, I began playing i think my first game in seattle um and there was a lot of things going through my head you know there was a lot of things you know uh, I want to mess this up. Okay, I got to understand my landmark here. Um, and Julio, he would say, he always said it, but he, he came up to me reminding me, listen, you know, your the strongest point, your biggest asset is going to be running, running full speed. You know, that's how you make guys make mistakes. That's how you get guys on their toes, uh, on their heels. I mean, I, that's going to be your strongest asset. So moving forward after the Saints game, I kind of understood that, um, you know, I cleared my mind more and just ran, you know, it's just, just came off the ball as fast as I can. Um, and whatever happens, happens, you know, and I think that's the best way to play, you know, uh, it's the best way to play, play mistake free as well. So. And, and I know that, you know, a bunch of other people have asked you about the numbers, the number situation, but why was it 10 that you wanted initially? I mean, I had, like, it was, it just, it looked really pretty like that. I mean, like, you know, some guys <laughs> like it because it just looks nice. like what, what was it behind 10 that, so literally uh i wanted something different and i hadn't seen anybody with 10 obviously because it was retired but i hadn't seen anybody with 10 um and so i'm like you know does it get any more different than that um and so obviously when i found out it was retired i was like okay the next thing i guess i was is 14 so <laughs> so yeah that's just how i was going for something different <laughs> okay appreciate it thank you no problem last one scott uh the I'm sure that you've always had that internal confidence that 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 you could be as productive as you were last year, and you you know obviously that 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 better is coming for you. But to actually go out there and do it, to be able to stare at your stat line and say that's really impressive compared to a lot of other people, um, what did that do for your confidence? Do you think that 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 just being able to prove it more than you know it, just that you've done it? Do you think that that's going to help you moving forward? Um, you know, it definitely feels good. You know, I'm not going to lie to go back and see, okay, you know, look how far I've come. But I think things that really boost my confidence is 
understanding where I could, what I could become, you know, understanding the, the, the sky's the limit for me. Um, you know, I have so many good guys, so many great people in my corner, you know, with Calvin, you know, Julio's taught me so much and I, I, I just know I have so much more to, to, to do. I, I can do so much more to prove. And I think that for me really motivates me, gives me confidence and pushes me to, you know, to keep raising the bar.